Hey guys, my name is Lindsay. Welcome to my channel. I do cash stuffing, mini savings challenges, and sinking funds, um, and talk a little bit about lifestyle as well, and all of it is through the glory and by the grace of God. I'm just so grateful for the financial journey that um, he's allowed me to be on since I've fully trusted in him. Um, everything has just gotten a lot easier for us and I see you know clarity in what we are supposed to do and where our priorities lie and so I am just encouraging you guys to lean into that as well and to do everything you can to get yourself you know financially stable it's so important um, in life in general just to make things just go a little smoother and a little more comfortable in life um, and then that way when those things in life pop up good or bad you are prepared and ready um, so if you guys are new here and this sounds like something you'd be interested in please stick around I would love it if you would subscribe and like this video for me and if you guys are tuning back in as always thank you so much you guys know I love and appreciate you for all the support that you um, that you give me in this new journey that I've been on so all right, this video might get a little crazy and confusing because I have my normal, I have my amount that I'm doing my sinking funds, plus then I have money from my mini savings challenge, the $5 savings challenge that I'm going to be adding to this. So I do have some notes here. We'll see how good I can <laughs> figure all this out. But first off, let's go ahead and get started and get all of this opened up. And um, let's scoot this on over here. I also wanted to show you guys so like the prop money here um this is guided by glory i looked at a bunch of different ones and i just wanted something simple and i did not want it laminated because like i wanted to be able to fold these if i needed which i know you guys might cringe at that like i don't know some people like them nice and crisp but anyway i got three different colors and i just wanted to have these ready because once some of these do get filled up i don't intend on keeping like all of it in the binder um, you know I'll put some in the bank and then just use these as placeholders so all right let's skip back here to my cash stuffing and then I've got my teller slip here with all of my amounts so 180 is what I took out and yes right now we have lower amounts unfortunately um, and guys I really haven't gotten into it too much but like everything with the accident ugh, blah. I just don't even want to talk about it. I just want to get past it, move on from it. It's been awful. It's been a nightmare. It's been horrible. Um, we just have like a huge situation that we're having to deal with. So um, needless to say, a lot of our money and our fin finances right now is going towards dealing with that because we had a car payment um, that we had to deal with and take care of. And uh, yeah, insurance is like not doing anything. So uh, I digress. All right, that's I, I'm not going to get into that. Maybe another day I'll feel like talking through that, but I really just, I can't right now. Um, it's just been so emotionally, mentally draining. So anyway, we're going to count up this, and then what we're going to do is add the money for the savings challenge. And um, yeah, let's see. We should have 300 total. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 150, 160, 165, 170, 175, 76, 77, 78, 79, 180. Okay, so 180 is here. And then like I said, we're taking the money from this. So this should be 120. So one, uh, oh. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105, 110, 115, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so let's move that out of the way and We'll get all of this sorted out here. Blah. Holy moly. Lots of 20s. I should have probably got some larger bills, but sometimes, I don't know, it's just easier for me to have these, and then I can always swap these out later, um, which is what I do sometimes when I need. Okay, so we got a bunch of fives. All right. Now we are situated. Okay, so I will tell you guys, too, I added another uh, category. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep adding categories even with my small little budget I hope my hope is that you guys will feel encouraged that you know even if you don't have a lot extra each month and again this is like what we have left after paying all of the necessary bills and the variable bills this is like what we have left to deal with and and play with and um, like I said I I move money over to a card for our groceries I have our tithe 
that comes out every month so that's an automatic thing um i do have a small amount that goes into that m1 um spend like the savings account the one that you get the one percent so like i do have some other things set up to where we're moving money and shifting things that's why my amounts are usually smaller but like i said i still feel like this has been a game changer because in the past i wouldn't have even had any of this extra money saved up like it would have just all got spent on frivolous like pointless stuff which i would never even know where the money went so i guess what i'm saying is even if you're on a low income even if you are a family that's on a single um single income like we are just try to take whatever little amounts left over you can like do not be discouraged because guys i can't believe how fast you know this got filled up and my skip the coffee got filled up and yes my 32 envelope one is taking a little bit longer but that's okay um you know all those go towards then being able to put larger amounts into here if that makes sense okay so um i wanted to show you guys the one i added so this is the little extracurricular like the ballet or dance one with the little stars so i added this basically just start saving for my daughter now which again I debated like is that silly to do but I think that even if I put you know even if I can't always put ten dollars in like I, I sometimes might just put like a dollar or two and then whenever I get to a ten dollar I can color one in um yeah you can just make it work you know however however you can for for your finances and budget and it's just again that consistency and that print that um principle that just like repetition and and dedication to it will help you guys tremendously it, it kind of just like builds that savings muscle if that makes sense okay so for this one tuition we're actually so we're going to be doing 90 in this one 20 40 60 80 and 90. all right let's go ahead and count it up 50, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 290, 300. Awesome. Okay. What do we want to do now? We're going to do yellow. All right. Let me go ahead and color these in. That one is starting to fill up quite nicely. Um, we're getting there not quite to the halfway mark but we will be there soon all right let's get this back in here and then next we are doing the extra <laughs> again i'm never gonna forget that man me and my little mistakes oh boy extra curricular for my son's dance so this one we're actually gonna do 60 so 20 40 whoop guess we need another one right 40 60 i hope i've counted all this out right um we shall see at the end <laughs> oh we got a lot of 20s in this one all right so i'm going to color two of these all right let's count this up let's see where we're at 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 240, 260, 265, 270. All right, which is perfect because I think we're one behind the other one or like the, the tuition. Like I said, I was trying to keep those kind of close, but sometimes you got to, you know, put a little more in one than the other. Plus my tuition one, I do need a little bit more um, in the end than this one. All right, so camping, we're going to do 15. We're just going to take some fives. Okay. Um, and guys, so something that I have been, you know, thinking about um, lately is the fact that there's times in our life where we're not really hearing from God. You know, there's times where um, maybe he gets, it gets quiet. It gets quiet in our like spiritual journey. Um things that are going on and I've kind of been battling that a little bit lately and it's been a little challenging for me to figure out and understand like why because I had been he hearing you know such strong messages um, and again just with all the stress and everything going on I really feel like 
my a uh, little bit of like my doubt and my worry you know has crept in and so i am just continuing to push forward and um and pray and read my bible more and get into the word more because i know that when when i let that slip i notice myself just mentally not being in the right mindset um, and not feeling as connected to god so i really feel like that makes a huge impact on my mood and my demeanor and my day um so I'm trying to make sure that I carve out time for that. And I know sometimes the days are challenging and it's hard to do that. But even if it's like five or 10 minutes, um, I really feel like it just makes a, such a huge difference. All right, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. Okay, I love these little cute pop-up campers. Um, Yes, the pop-up camper. Oh, I'm totally going in the wrong way. Pop-up camper is something that we had. Um, I think that unfortunately we are going to have to sell it, which stinks. But I've decided that, like I said before, I am going to still continue doing this because we still do intend to do like camping trips. It might just be a little different. Um, basically, you know, our car that got totaled, unfortunately we won't have that. So we won't have a way to tow this. So we kind of like don't have another option right now. And, um, hopefully at another point in life, we'll be able to revisit that and, um, you know, get something that maybe will be even better, you know? All right. So holiday, I should be doing a hundred, 20, 40, 60. I think I'm going to need some of those. I don't even know guys. I'm like mm, a mess right now. 5, 10, 15, 20. So we'll do some fives. What am I at? 80? Okay. Hopefully that leaves me enough with what I have left. I don't even know. <laughs> if not, I'll go back to one of the envelopes and swap out some 20s and, or some 20s, some, some change that I need. All right, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Okay, so holiday is moving right along. We're gonna, like I said, keep on stuffing this. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm stuffing this, I feel like, I don't know, at a faster pace than what I did last year. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but um, you know, try, my goal was always to try to do like 50 with each paycheck, so I know some of these, oh no, where's my marker? There it is. Some of these um, weeks I've been able to do a little bit more and um, you know, hopefully it would be nice if I can get this done and then maybe I can focus on some other sinking funds that I would, you know, like to achieve this year as well. Um, but again, you know, priority is what I, what my thought process is. I focus on the ones that I know I need to fill. And then if I accomplish that and fill those, I will move on to like other ones that maybe I didn't have planned or didn't think I'd be able to fill. I gotta get something else for this poor little gingerbread man. <laughs> it's not looking very filled in, but oh well, it'll work for now. All right, shall we count this? So let's see, we should have one, three, four, we should have five. Oh man, I might have to put one of the slips in for this one actually. Okay, so there's one, 20, 40, 60, 80, two. 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 80, 4, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Okay, yeah, guys, I think what I'm going to do, actually, I didn't think I was ready to use one of those, but I'm going to take the 500 slip, and we're going to stick it right in here. Whoops. <laughs> So that's awesome. So we've already got 500 towards that. So yeah, like we're like a third of the way there. Um, oh my goodness. And I get it in. Um, and then that way I can put that money in the bank and then I know that I have that amount reserved for holiday. Okay, we're gonna set this aside. And Homestead. Homestead, I think we've got 15. Hopefully I've got 10 ones there because I should have 10 and 10 left for the two envelopes still <laughs> oh my goodness y'all what is going on with these envelopes oh no okay i might have to find a different envelope system okay if you guys watched my mini savings challenge what happened was my 32 envelope got stuck and the zipper it's like the zipper gets off 
let me see if I can show you guys. I don't know if you guys have ever had this happen. So like the zipper is like not in the center where it's supposed to be. And then I can't, ugh, I can't get it open. And guess what? I'm probably gonna have to cut another one of these. Guys, am I missing something? If, if you have had this happen and you know how to fix it, please put it in the comments for me because I don't wanna have to keep cutting all these envelopes and wasting them and then I have to buy new ones. And like, I just don't even understand. I don't know what I've done or why this is happening. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, what are the odds um, that I've now had that happen with both of my videos, two different envelopes, and like, they're not the same brand either, and they both got, like the zipper got all wonky. So weird. All right, so anyway, yeah, help me out in the comments. Like, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> I feel like I'm just like always destructive and like I just break so much stuff, guys. <laughs> and I don't even try to be that aggressive with things. Like, I really don't. All right, so we're adding 15 to this one. So we're gonna add color in one little chickadee. And um, let's see, and I do have the right amount left. I was like getting a little worried that I stuff something wrong um, but I think we're on the right track and we are good to go all right let's count this 20 20 40 50 60 65 70 75 awesome all right and that's the back card which I need to put in well I'm just gonna call this like my malfunction malfunction week I don't know <laughs> too funny Gotta laugh, gotta laugh at stuff, right? Okay, next up we are doing 10 in here. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Add that and we will color in our little envelope. All right, so we should have 30, perfect. Okay, and then, like I said, we are gonna add in with our new, our new envelope, we're gonna add in my last $10. And this is just being like super proactive here. Um, my little girl is turning one soon, um, like next week, and I'm so excited. I can't believe how fast it has gone by, guys. Like, it is insane how fast the second grows up. Like, <laughs> I don't know, I guess because you're so busy, you know, and and things are just um, just crazy that it, it just really flies by. But let's see, we'll do a little pink. So cute. All right, um, yeah, so we're gonna be, we're gonna be celebrating that, and I think, I don't know how you guys would feel if you guys are even interested and obviously a lot of you I know are like the budget community but I also want to post stuff that I feel like is life related and feel like that um, are videos that I've watched other people post that have really inspired or helped me which is why I posted my testimony video um, I'm kind of contemplating posting my natural home birth story with my daughter so will you guys please let me know in the comments if you would be interested in that um, it's something that I just cherish so much. Again, I know God was definitely with me and my husband through that whole experience and I would love to share that with you guys if it would give anyone a little bit of encouragement or just shed some light on on how um, you know God kind of helped us through that whole birth and labor process. So, um, and again, this wouldn't be to like pass judgment on anyone. Everybody's birth story is so different. And even from like my first, um, my son's birth is so different from my daughter's. But um, yeah, I just feel like it's so good to, to share and to hear other people's stories. Like I know I get super motivated by hearing that. And I just love, um, I just love to hear all the different ways that these little miracles of life are brought into the world. So Anyway, um, I thank you guys so much for sticking around, watching this video with me, and hopefully we will just continue to be able to crush these financial goals and color in more of these little icons, which is always so much fun. And I will see you guys next time, and I hope you have a blessed rest of the week.